Yeah, nah. Because they're old. They're all old, too. So they're like, nah, I've been going to, like, Jug Handle is a place I go for wings. It's a great place for wings in Cinnamonson. They've been going to, like, oh, I've been going to the Jug for 15 years. Like, that kind of thing. Nah, apparently this place is, like, ridiculous, though. For burrito tacos, specifically. That's fucking bonkers. I'll yeah, have to try it. Definitely gotta try it out. I told him, I told him about Oasis. Now it's, Oasis is fire, too. It's probably no pinch, but I respect it's it. Probably no pinch. <laughs> it's like, man, this place has the best burgers I've ever had. You're just like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be comparing it to McDonald's, so it's gonna be a little tight, but. <laughs> 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 Nothing beats a Big Mac. Uh, listen, I will give a Big Mac credit where credit is due. Big I had Mac. Burger King the other day, and I couldn't even finish the burger because it wasn't serious? a Big Mac. Oh, Big Mac? Nah, dude, Burger King slaps. Nah. Burger King's so good. Whoppers and the BK, this, the real one, BK, the BK King or the BK Double Stack or whatever they call it nowadays, who got the zesty sauce on it. Oh, oh, baby, come on. I, I was pretty upset. No way, dude. You've been, you've, Big been, Mac. you've been, you've been McDonald's pilled. I've always been McDonald's pilled. Uh, you've been red, yellow pilled. Golden arches. They lead you astray. I live, you know, you know, I live right where I live. I, yeah. I can actually, I found out, you know, I know how it's really close. I didn't really realize how close it was until yesterday when I went to go, like, um, look for food in the area. Like, there was late at night, I was, like, having my, like, I felt pain. That wasn't good. So I was like, I'm gonna DoorDash. And when I parked my car and went back from work when I was starting to think about it, I could see just exclusively cutting through the woods to my left the big fucking BK circle. Like, the Burger King thing is just, like, that close to my house. And when I looked it up on my phone, it was 600 feet away. Like, there was, like, I had no, I had no excuse to not walk down that hill and just pick up Burger King. And I still DoorDash checkers. I was like, I was like, I can't eat that right now. Checkers is not much better, but, like, it's kind of better. Both checkers fries make me fucking, like, come out my asshole. Come out my asshole. <laughs> Have you ever had the Five Guys Cajun fries? Those, those aren't real. Oh. Baby girl, I'm about to put Five you on. Five guys, Cajuns and fries. Five guys, Cajuns and fries. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Five Guys, because Five Guys is obviously good, right? Yeah. A little pricey, but you know. Twenty dollar burger, not honestly, exactly. No, no, no. Go actually, look, so I went there for the first time in a while, like a month ago. It really wasn't that bad, like well, relative to what people think. Like, yeah, it's expensive. Did it you is. get fries and a drink? I did. Interesting. Every yeah. time. Okay. So I use. So what's all right? I want to hear your go-to order. I just got fries. I might. I might not have a drink, but continue. I, I, I just. All right. So my go-to order. Yeah. Usually a, a, a regular burger. So you know the double stack. Right. Bacon and a one sauce. Huge. I. That's my. That's my shit. Yeah. Um. Then I usually get, like even just a small or medium fry, and then like. Yeah. A, a decent sized drink. Because the thing is, you would think it was a small medium fries there. You're gonna get bag fries. Yeah. That's the, the thing. The the minimum fry you get is a medium if you count bag fries. Yeah. So I usually do like the small, yeah. Um, and then I do like a medium drink, mm -hmm. and they kind of fucked me up with prices, man. I, I did pay twenty dollars. See, I, when I went, I think I paid thirteen. I there's something you're doing that I'm not doing. You know, you know me though. I know you. I'm, you're, oh, you're, I'm, if there's you're, a way to get something for cheap, I'm gonna do it. You're fucking like. I don't even care if I want it. I'm you're, gonna do it. You're big lots save a lot. Big lots save a lot. I'm I'm like extreme couponing the twenty four year old man. Exactly. If if couponing were an esport, you would be the best player in the world. True, I'd be, I'd be the uh, the goat of couponing random apps from different establishments. Exactly. Also, uh, Rob's kind of going bozo mode. Yeah, I have been paying attention. I'm taking curse. <laughs> oh, you know, me and Rob just talked about that. I said caster's curse, and we talked about uh, esports vernacular for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Fun little, fun little side thing that we did there. Vernacular doesn't actually exist. Language is a made-up concept that only exists in our brains, and thus we have locked ourselves away from the rest of the world because we choose to speak a certain language that others do not. But in fact, it is all made up. You, you, you know, you were, you were, you were, you were, you were kind of spitting for a second there, like I was giving it to you. I was racking my brain, and then, you, and then you said, "Choose to speak a language others do not." We lock us out. And I'm like, maybe, like maybe I get that. Choose? I don't know. No, we English. Choose. There's a lot of us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we're missing some. No, like, no, we are missing some, right? Like there's there's concepts that we don't, you know, we can't get to. I'm gonna be the Bobby Scar. You already know that. This is gonna happen. I'm gonna be Bobby Scar, right? Like what's it called? Uh, different languages will have different conceptions for things, and this language is going to be something that shapes our discursive reality, our inability to speak other languages and access the world through those lenses is going to ultimately affect the way that we see things, and thus forth our reality. Okay. So in terms of melee, <laughs> in terms of melee. This language is fucking like. In terms of melee, the language is is virtually not English. It, yeah, it's hardly consistent at all. The the language of this matchup is like some cannibalistic island you find off the coast of like, uh, the Philippines. I feel like I feel like most melee players can speak in grunts to each other and they'd understand. 
<laughs> okay, <man. laughs> We're all Neanderthals. <laughs> it's just, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. I mean, we can hear we can hear the ultimate people screaming yeah, exactly. from outside Dude, right now. We're in, we're in, a, we're in a university hall right now. Like, I know. They've been fucking doing that all night. They're kind of wild, actually. That's the loudest I've ever heard them. Damn, Rob cooking. Isn't it cool that Puff basically just goes balloon moment and then she flies? I wish I could go balloon moment and fly. Dude, I am a balloon. So proud of you. Thank you. I envy you for that, actually. Interesting down tilt. I would have grabbed. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't let that happen. Uh, I keep getting these fucking, like, sketchy Snapchat. Who put my Snapchat? Yeah. In? Who did this to me? I don't know, but Water. I got one you, earlier. You keep getting them too? Yeah. Black screen would just fuck off. I, I got getting... one by Takesha Tamika. I got Juliet Bunny. They all add me by search. Yeah, me too. I don't know who these people are. Like, I got two that were actually like real people though, and it confused me. Like, it was a ra it was weird. It was a random one that did me by search, but then she like sent me a Snapchat, and like it was like and like her name is like actually a name, and like there's like stuff attached to her. And I was like, wait, I was like, who? Wait, it was like, who are you? I realized I have not accepted my friend Shane's Snapchat requests, and uh, his name is Joe Biden Lover Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden Lover Twelve. Oh wait, there's. Well, okay, wait. Oh, you saw the the thing that I sent in the the Snapchat, right? Joe Biden on weed. Oh yeah. Did you see that? Did you actually did you read the tweet? Uh the whole the thread he made, right? Yeah, yeah, the whole thread. I, I have. I've also seen some charts that suggest that it is going to be a very, 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 very tiny percentage of people that actually get affected, but kind of Well so ready, yeah, so here's what's happening, right? I got I got an email from my intern from my CEO. Got it, right? So I'm not gonna let you read, make you read all this, but I'm gonna paraphrase for you. Yeah. Right? Um Yes, it's true, because federal crimes like a, a, a crime that is simple marijuana possession, mm. but is escalated, or at least relevant at the federal level, is a weird, like, sort of oxymoronic thing to occur, my understanding. I'm by no means an expert on the legality of it. Uh, fortunately, I've never run into this problem, but um, I can't imagine it's common that that would be the case. Uh, unless there's something I'm missing in terms of his, his ability, I mean, I'm sure he could, in theory, um, pardon everyone across the country, including state laws. Um, theoretically, I imagine that there might that might be somewhere within his power, but I'd imagine it would have to be a, a rather extreme thing. Um, like, like exceptional even in this case, it'd be a little crazy. Um, which is why he's urging states to do it, because considering it's been left up to states' law, that's why there's different states with the legal different legalities across states. He's just like, hey guys, please do this. Right. And it's something that most states that are already on board have probably already done. Um, but that this hopefully this I mean this is huge for support, yeah. huge for the movement, right? Um, and he is actually working on the declassification and descheduling of it. Um, that much is within his power. That is a federal thing. Um, so as a result of that, if that occurs, that immediately changes things. Because right. if that happens, then it's like almost like a, a wave. Like things have to be treated differently. Because unless it is explicitly stated under like unless like legality is explicitly stated um, within a state's like constitution, then. He blast. He blast. <laughs> I said the same thought process. Um, it'll uh, instantly kind of have an effect. Across. Also, just uh, what's called uh, legalization efforts. Like states won't have to go through as many hoops if they're not dealing with a substance that's quite as controlled as it is. Right. Um, among us. Among us. Um, but no, it's actually internally being in the industry. It's actually really great. Like so, I'll paraphrase expl explicitly the uh, email. Um, he essentially said. Joe Biden announced his intent to pardon all prior convictions, asking the Secretary and Attorney General to review how it's scheduled. He said this is arguably the biggest news for our industry in several years. A monumental step forward for cannabis in the mainstream. Uh, but disproportionately, it's a, it's a major step in the right direction for those disproportionately affected by criminalization of cannabis and a forward movement for the industry at large. That's a critical piece of criminal justice reform, as well as a positive movement we've seen by an administration with potential to have major impact on the legal cannabis industry. Um, blah, blah, blah. White House has recognized the importance of decrim like at the end of the day, the White House has recognized the importance of decriminalization, implementing a regulated market, and rightly wrongs of the past. Areas of focus that we are foundational that are foundational to our company's values and culture, yada yada. Um, essentially, this is big news, and he just kind of dropped that on like a random Thursday afternoon. It was like a like a like a tweet, but he didn't put the fucking threat emoji in there, but he might as well have. Right. And then like um, like an hour or two later, he released like a minute thirty long video. He's just like, he said basically the same thing. He's like, we uh, shouldn't be this bad. Um, we're going to make it less bad, hopefully. Um, it's less bad right now for like some people. Uh, thumbs up. 
Thumbs Joe, up. Joe, Joe Biden. I kind of hate when people make Twitter threads and don't don't put the thread emoji, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I just don't know what I'm getting into. But, like, how, how long is this going to be? It's just, is, this, is this a threat or is this, like, a single response thing? Exactly. And it's supposed to, and, and for president right. especially, like, I'm supposed to, like, I'm supposed to trust that guy with my life, although he wanders off from the speaking podium. Um, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say I'm a fan of Joe Biden because I don't think I am. Um, but I will say that, admittedly, credit where credit is due. He, he did nothing for two years, and it was like, okay, great, this is a waste of time. And then he came out with like the Inflation Reduction Act. He came out with uh, student loan cancellation, you know, which not maybe not enough, but like to a degree. Um, right. And now he's doing legal weed. So like, I'm I'm fairly certain all that happened is that somewhere in his cabinet or some some friend of his, some nephew, whatever it is, like he's got someone that's influential to him. That's like probably like somewhere between the ages of like 15 and like 23, 24, like right, right about our age down to like probably like 15, and he's just like. Like, Papa Joe, uh, just give him weed. He's right. like, oh my god. Like, Papa Joe, cancel loans. He's like, oh, fuck yeah, let's go. And he does it, and then people, like, freak out, and, like, he wants some midterms. Right. So, I don't know what's going on. Frankly, it's all bullshit, but... Definitely a Joey weed design. Yeah, but there is some, uh... There's some, there's some decent stuff going on. And I'm not gonna say... I'm not gonna frown about it. Can you imagine if, in the next two years... Like student loans are virtually gone and everyone gets smoke. That sounds wild. We're already pretty close though. At least in this. You're right. Kind of fucking hard quote. Meanwhile, uh, Billy Puff kicks Sheik in the face. Very, very hard. I want you to know the thought of nobody having student loans and everybody smoking weed made me almost cry. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a. Sensational concept. This, uh, this is a if you come back. This is a hell of a like oh. three was it three stocks to one? And he's at thirty seven huh? Yeah. This is bad. I don't know what the tech out. It's one one. This one is okay. a pivotal moment. I believe in Rob. But... Berger, oh. Berger's got this. Burger man. Nothing like, but faith. This is uh huge. Oh. Massive. Shy guys. Fucking shy guys. What a map. Oh, Absolute tragedy. Absolute tragedy. Could happen to anyone. Hate to see it. What can you say? He was robbed. For those in chat who don't get the joke, he wasn't robbed. I'm a little bit of a funny guy. Yeah, kind of funny. I'm so hungry. I really need to eat. There's this woman that comes in right at work that always gives us food. He's goaded for that. Best. I brought his apples, oranges, and caramel today. I had two apples and caramel for my on my 15. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. Save me, Loki. I didn't get to eat lunch before I came here. Something about Puff having P in big letters above her head. Does she pee? I don't think I don't she know does. where out of. I don't think she can do that. What color I is that? What color is that's why the name is P because she longs for it. What color is Puff's urine? <laughs> Puff's urine. <laughs> Frankly, I don't know. Yeah, I think I think whatever uh, waste goes into uh, Puff's body is just used. And if she's gassy, that's how she inflates. It's actually. like a it's like a paper shredder, but without the like the waste. Well, is she, is she the secret to infinite energy? Yes. Figured out. Just that efficient. Oh no, it's happening again. Is this seeing the Halo theme song out there? What's going on? I don't know, but I'm bad. Dude, what is going on out there? Why are they? They're out of pocket. They were right howling. Now. That's what I said. Yeah, I was like, I was like, are they singing the Halo theme song right now? What is, what is going on out there, dog? Fucking Smashers, dog. Nerd. Oh, Rob's in a bad spot. Oh, I just, I don't understand mashing A button move while Puff is that close, but I am not robbed, so. Who knows, maybe he knows something that I didn't, but that was not something I would have done. That's just you, Marth player. I would have grabbed. You're a Marth player. As soon as I stole Jigglypuff, dude, down smash, I, oh, oh. Jigglypuff really be spinning. Oh, she's so small. Jigglypuff got vertigo. I would. I can't, I can't turn that much. I have vertigo. I have vertigo. Nice damage there from Rob. Yeah, that was. If he gets, if he gets like one good punish, Ooh. oh, the crash cancel. 
Oh, no, stop Let doing those needles for the love of Mary and Joseph. Oh, wow. That was, that was, oh, that's really unfortunate. That was a game moment. All right. Best of luck. Oh.